I'm Tyler. And we're the Drink Testers. Welcome back to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. So today we are testing out two reds tonight. Uh, so our first one is going to be the uh, wood... Uh, actually, before, they're both the same company. So we're mm. comparing two red wines, uh, two Woodbridge uh, wines. So we're doing the Cabernet. So that's the Cab. Versus the Merlot. Versus the Merlot. So it's a red label versus the blue, blue label. label. So we're going to try the uh, Cabernet uh, so this, first. So this is the label again. Okay. So that's the Cab. So I'm going to pour that while he explains okay. some bits about it. Yeah. So the Cab uh, is a 13.5% uh, alcohol and it comes in just uh, under $12 a bottle at $11.95. Um, and it comes with plum, wild berry, and coffee aromas, and flavors with a balanced acidity, and supple tannins, nutty, toasty notes that reflect well, uh, and there's an oak aging profile to it. So there's your glass. Now, both of these wines are designed by Robert uh, Mondavi, I hope I'm pronouncing that correct, uh, in Lodi, California. Uh, and we're going to compare the two and see which one we like best. So they so, were actually established too in 1979. Yeah. So it's a, it's a pretty long company. Yeah. So here's the look of it. It's a nice deep red. Very, very nice deep red. There's a nice lag on this one too. You notice that? Mm. It smells good. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. I smell a lot of berries. I don't get the oak. I get a little nutty. Not much. Not much nutty, but... But, yeah, you never know. Cheers. 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 I get the oak taste. You get the, the oak? The oak. Taste. It's not overpowering, though. No, normally you don't... Like, he doesn't like the oak flavoring. You're right, it's not overwhelming, but you can taste it. Mm. Oh, but I don't get any coffee aromas. I'm getting the... um like raspberry um, it, and, and the plum, it's very good. Um, it's, the oak's not overpowering at all. It's quite tasty though. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice, smooth, drinkable wine. I would like this though with like cheeses. Oh, have, like, yeah. I, I would have it with some cheese and like finger foods, something simple. Um, yeah, this would pair well with pretty much anything. It's got a lot of berry taste. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, not overpowering in anything. Um, I'm going right in here and I'm going to give it right off the bat. Oh, he's four. going for a four already. Right off the bat. Uh, well, I'm going to match your four with oh, a four. We have an eight. We have an eight on wow, this bad boy. That's impressive. Let, I hope we don't have a tie. How would oh. we? We haven't bought a, a tie. We haven't bought a tiebreaker bottle yet. Yeah. That oh. would be interesting. Yeah. Um, so that's not bad. It's not bad. Like, I just like the color. The color is so It's very pretty. dark. I think that's the plum, right? I think probably, so, yeah. It's some, very, some plums. One of our darkest wines that we've tried. Oh, that's a yummy, yummy one. We didn't get a second. Uh, so which one? So that that's the red bottle, That's right? the red bottle. That's okay. the red label. So the red label is the Cab, the yep. Cabernet uh, Sauvignon. So, Did I say that way? Right? I think that's yeah. right. I think that's how you pronounce yeah. it. We're still going yeah. with it. We're, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. Um, yeah, it's really good though. Mm-hmm. I got one mouthful left. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is delicious. That is nice wine. It's very smooth. Delicious. Wow. So on this label, the labels, they're pretty similar. Do you like the labels? Um. Because if you look here. They look kind of pretentious. Um. They're very similar. They're, they're basic label. Not a huge fan of them. Uh, I like that they that they color code them kind of you know when you're. It helps too yeah. when you go when you go into the the LCBO to get these you're gonna be able to figure out which is which. Yes, so I I, I definitely like that. Um, I like that you called it pretentious. <laughs> it, 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 well, it kind of is. I don't know. It just seems a little base. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's basic. It's yeah. I it's don't... it's subtle. Yeah, I mean it shows like the grape fields, the vineyard, and and everything, but just it's a little basic for me. Mm. It's a lot of white on there, like it's nothing eye catchy. Okay. Um, so you've so, seen better labels. Yeah, I've seen better. Um, That's fair. Yeah. Uh, what What do you think? I actually kind of like the labels. I like how it has the hints. Like if you see in the two here, it has the hint of blue with the blue bottle and the red with the red. I like that matching coordination. Now they're both uh, 
They're both the exact same label, right? Yeah. They're the exact right. same label, label except for the the names and the the, the, the red and blue. Everything okay. else is the, uh, identical. Okay. But I, I I honestly like it. I mean, it was easy for me to find them. I just they were side by side and color coded, yeah. right? So. So that's simple. Good. But, okay, that yeah. works. So on to the next. Yeah, that yeah, I'm impressed by that one. Let's see if this uh, this so other one. Here we go with the Merlot so, blue label. So again, same percent of alcohol, uh, 13.5, but slightly more expensive, coming in at uh, just under $14 at $13.95. Uh, this one's medium ruby color. Uh, it's got cedar, chocolate, and raspberry blueberry aromas. So I, I think chocolate. I'm gonna like that. I really love raspberries. Raspberry and chocolate go great together too. Uh, it's medium bodied and dry. Uh, and a red berry fruit and supple tannins. And again, these are both made in California. Um, Same company. Yeah. But it's yeah. definitely darker. Wow. You can't even get any transparency there. You can't see through that whatsoever. And the other one, there was a slight hint of light going through. And these are both the same size. Yeah, same size. Same size. Same size bottle. Everything's the same except for the price, basically. Yeah, it's like it's two bucks more. Two bucks more. I wonder why. Um, everything else is pretty identical. Oh, it's got a strong smell of alcohol. You can definitely smell that. Oh, I really taste the alcohol. Um, it's not as smooth. No, no. It's a little harsher. It could be the tannins, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. They might have... I don't know. It, like the it, stemmy, they say the it's stemmy stemmy supple, taste. but yeah. to me... I don't know. I wish I could get some more of the chocolate flavor, though. Yeah, oh, I, I do get the raspberry, not so much the blueberry. I'm a little disappointed. I really like raspberry. My, raspberry and blackberries are my favorite things in the wine, but I'm just not digging it in this one. Uh, it's still drinkable. It's tolerable. But I would never probably buy it again, so I'm just going to jump in and I'm going neutral. Yes or no? Oh, we don't have a tiebreaker. Sorry. No tiebreaker bottles no, here. No. We got a five. What a difference between the that one versus, um, yeah. Right? There's yeah. a huge difference. The, 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 and we have opened these bottles at the exact same time. So the, these were opened a minimum of an hour before we did this. The Cab Sav is just way better in my opinion. Yes. Uh, more berry taste, more, it's, it's, it's delicate, smooth. It's, smooth. It's, it's enjoyable. Yes. Like it's a nice sipper. But I, this I, one is like. I, I. The other one had the oak, but it wasn't overpowering at all. Um, this one has no cedar. No, this like one, zero, yeah. zero taste of the cedar. It's just very. It's got a harsh alcohol taste to it. Really harsh. See, this would be something we would drink after a bottle of something else, <laughs> yeah. just to get through. <laughs> yeah, I, I might just pour it out, but yeah, uh, I don't even know if, what I would eat that. It might be good to cook with. Maybe, yeah. Just, it actually might not be bad to cook like a steak or something with. Yeah, there's just so many better wines out there than this. It's true. Yeah. That there are, but yeah. when you have a bottle that you have at home, sure. sometimes it's good just to kind of throw it in the kitchen and cook with it for a couple a couple of days. Now, I don't know if we have if uh, Woodbridge has any other wines, uh, but if they do, uh, I'm certainly willing to try it. Uh, what about you? I'm definitely willing to try anything. Yeah. Like I, I enjoy trying new stuff. It's fun. I hope I'm wondering if they've got any white wine. Because I'm I'm starting to get back into the white wine kick. So yeah, we'll so have to try that. I kinda wanna see if they got some white sometimes. Or even a rose. Right. A rose would be a good way to go. So uh yeah, um other than that, I, I think we've got a clear clear champion. We have a it's clear the red winner with the red bottle. Eight. The cab salve, the eight or pointer. Yeah. Eight out of ten is really good. That's good. So it's not so bad. Yeah. But other than that, still still a good company to go buy for. Yeah. Remember, this is through Canadian funds as well. So like we're in Canada, so all this is basic in Canada funds. So it depends on where you're from and how much the, the price changes as well. And the cheaper bottle wins. Sometimes more expensive is yeah. not the way to go. Now, I, I don't know if it was on sale. Maybe maybe they're both actually the same price. But who knows? Uh, when yeah. I picked it up, it was, it was cheaper. So yeah. Hmm. So cheers guys, cheers. drink responsibly, take care. Thanks for stopping by guys. Uh, if you find our channel entertaining, educational, 
or just want to show some love, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget, please drink responsibly. Take care. Have a good one.